Yo yo res fam what's going on and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers franchise series I know I have been very inconsistent when it comes to this series this series should have been done to be honest quite a while from now it should have been done uh, but we just kept keep getting knocked out by the Yankees and aren't able to go as far as much as we want to but Hopefully we can make it, you know, hopefully 2022 is our year to win it all We just got to make the team to defeat the Yankees or defeat whoever else we play because it seems like the Yankees are the only Team that just they, they, they just love to defeat us. They just love it, but we just got to pick it up, man We just got to pick it up. Uh, we're gonna see if we can pick up one more arm in free agency Maybe go after Bumgarner. I mean, um, excuse me, uh, Syndergaard try to get Noah uh, do we need a catcher? Uh, we kind of do need a catcher. We've relied on Jake Rogers for about a couple years now. I mean, he is getting better. Uh, his production kind of dropped because for some reason they had, uh, I forgot who they had at catcher, but oh yeah, we had Cameron Rupp in at catcher this year for some weird reason. Uh, but yeah, he is only 25. Uh, we're going to give Jake Rogers another season. We're going to give him another season to see if he can develop to, to become an actual, you know, a good catcher. We have a lot of catchers in our in our club. Um, I'm pretty sure that Jake Rogers could definitely get the job done for us. I believe so. Uh, you guys can see here our first baseman, our first base spot is kind of open. Uh, but we do have Jimer, uh Candelario, who is going to be our starting first baseman for the year for for years to come. Uh, because I truly truly believe in him and then you know, I'm kind of just going through this whole roster But we got some contracts to go through uh, Not that many. Yes, not that many. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer these contracts. Actually. I already did it Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we we did this before on the last episode And then it kind of just got left off there so we can actually go into free agency We haven't even offered anything yet. So yeah free agency Chris Davinsky surprisingly is one of my main priorities i want to pick him up for this squad damn chris bryan how did chris bryan do 254 it's not the best how did noah do this season oh he tore it up this season we gotta try to get we're gonna have to try to get noah so they're offering uh six year deals let's offer him a five year um okay uh, uh I, I i don't think there's any uh I don't think there's any okay. Yeah, we are low on money. That is why but well, let's offer him a six year and see if he will get him uh, We are the top ones to get him uh, Ironically over the Giants, which we do have the same contract as the Giants. We gave him the same contract uh, We don't have anything on budgets. Remember we, we don't really care about budgets uh, As much as we should but we have it to ignore budgets. So we should be fine Chris Bryan I don't think I'm gonna sign Chris Bryant. I think we're gonna pass up on him. Uh, we're not gonna go ahead and sign him. Chris Davinsky, I want to sign him up on a three-year deal, 25 mil, just to see, uh, just to see if we can get some production out of him. All right, we signed Chris Davinsky. We picked him up on a three-year deal for 25 million. Okay, now I kind of remember where we left off. I, I just finished watching the video. Um, we we picked up Clayton Kershaw. We picked up everybody. Literally in this offseason, I forgot that we did a little bit of moves this offseason and then we were going to leave the rest towards for this episode. So my apologies there. But yeah, we do pick up those guys this offseason, but we do lose out on Noah Syndergaard, which we offered him the same thing. We offered Noah Syndergaard the same thing. And yet he goes to he, he goes to, to the Giants as well as Chris Bryant. So. Okay, so we kind of just got uh, we kind of just got a big slap to the face by the Giants, but hey, that's that's fine. We're still going to be amazing. We're still gonna be goats. Uh, they can fuck off. All right, so we kind of fail on up on upgrading our pitching staff. Um, we actually we didn't fail. We picked up Clayton Kershaw, but Clay Clay, I, I feel like Clayton Kershaw is only gonna give us a couple years, maybe even three years. Of, uh, of good baseball. It's just quite sad to see that Noah Syndergaard accepts the Giants offer Literally the same offer that we gave him. Yeah, it's uh, kind of shitty, but hey That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. It's kind of how it goes, but we're gonna see through these uh, rule five uh, I don't think we need a rule five uh, matter of fact. We're gonna pass up on this 
And yeah, we've simmed the offseason. Everything has been done. The newly formed Detroit Tigers with Clayton Kershaw added. Casey Mize in the rotation. Steven Matz has been doing really, really good for us. And we have a really, really good bullpen. May I add to that? A really good bullpen. Um, on paper, it looks like one of the best, if not the best bullpen. We do have uh, Kirk Kimbrough here, who actually did not do too bad for us. So, he's a pretty good pickup that we got. So, let's go ahead and simulate spring training and kind of give, you know, see how the team does and see how the team performs. So, we're going to go ahead and simulate this real quick. And just kind of go off of this. I do have a theory that if your team does good in spring training, they do get a, a pretty good overall boost. I, 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 stu I still believe that theory. I still live by that theory. I, I, I don't know why, but I think so. Uh, they do get a, a good overall boost to start the, the season off, and then they'll just become absolute monsters then. So, yeah, Miggy's up to a 78 overall. We're going to have to see if we can actually trade Miggy. Um, because I don't know if his contract is, yeah, his contract is kind of crazy. So we're going to look to trade Miggy this season. Um, just, just, just to send him out and just to see if, you know, we can clear that money up, try to pick someone up next season, or maybe even, I don't think we'll get someone valuable back for Miggy to be honest uh, with you guys. We'll probably get like a couple, a couple, whatever players, but we'll see if we can get some good ones. Cause we did it with the, uh, with Wayne Chen in the the marlins uh j the jj bidet rebuild and we actually got ourselves a pretty good player so let me go ahead and get that done and we'll be to the regular season so yeah none of these trades look pretty en enticing so we're just gonna take this one from the dodgers uh romer quadra quadrado quadrado uh 24 over uh to a 24 year old b potential 65 overall I don't know how good he'll be, but uh, if it means to get rid of Miggy's contract, that's fine, man. Uh, thank you for everything, Miggy, but it's time for you to go off, man. We appreciate you. But, folks, it looks like we have three stars in the making right here. We got David Quisenberry, 21-year-old, 78 overall, and he is a top prospect. Matt Manning as well, and then Franklin Perry. So, we have some studs in the, uh, in the farm system. Let's take a look at... The top 50 prospects before we start off the season. All right. I do not see anybody here that we are. Well, Matt Manning is 17th. Uh, Quisenberry should be higher, to be honest. But, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. We got Franklin Perez at 23. Brendan McKay with the uh, Tampa Bay. And there we go. So, Quisenberry is number 31. But I feel like he's going to be higher on this list. So, let's go ahead and get this started, man. Let's simulate a few games actually we're gonna turn on the critical situation and see if we get one we're gonna simulate and see if we can get into one right here and there we go we're into one right here we got a one run lead to protect and we got to close it out with roberto ozuna and we're winning the game by one so let's see if we can get this done eloy jimenez man a future star indeed but we got roberto ozuna and we're gonna try to see if we can close out this game and try to see if uh we can get out of here with this w man we we don't have the best of luck when it comes to pitching uh to pitching cr critical situations you guys should know that oh that is a dirty slurp and let's try to get him with the high fastball here roberto sooner with the high fastball chase him up baby freeze him up let's go nikki delmonico i believe did he get i think he got released by them if i'm not mistaken uh wow zuna has some nasty breaks on his pitches like disgusting like what the fuck? Doesn't bat at that slider, but we're going to throw him a high fastball and see if he can. Ooh, that's a risky pitch. He was waiting on that fastball, but we get the out there with our left fielder, which I believe is. I, I, I think that's. I think. Is that Yelich? No, it's not Yelich. All right, Jake Greatwood. We are one hour away from winning this game. And uh, I believe our. I, I don't think we've lost yet. Uh, I believe this might be a straight sweep. Wow. I cannot get over that slurp. And this last pitch right here. Can we get him out? Let's get it, baby. That was pretty easy, but when you got someone out there like Roberto Zuna with nasty stuff, it's going to be easy. So we pick up the win there. Carlos Rodon picks up his first win of the season. And they, look, look, look at that outfield. Yelich, Springer, and who was that? Uh, David Peralta. Okay, so that is a pretty good outfield. And, folks, this team is looking dangerous so far. I know 23 games in the season, but we're looking good, man. Detroit is looking good. So we pick up that win, and we're actually 3-0 in the season, and we're looking really, really good. Wow, what a start to the season, folks. 8-3 so far. We are absolutely killing it out there, bros. 
All right, after the first month, we are 16 and 8. That's good enough for second under the Cleveland Indians, unfortunately. And we're going to see if we have any injuries. Uh, Richard Murphy with a torn calf. Uh, damn, he got off to a pretty hot start. Going to be out for a couple months. And then AJ Ludwig, who actually was off to a really good start as well. Out for a couple weeks with an inflamed hip. So hopefully he will be back and killing it for us in our minor league system. Um, wow, there is a lot of players that are on fire. But first, let's look at, let's look at the starting rotation. Yelich batting a clean 300 with 20 RBIs and 9 home runs already. Marlon Gonzalez seems to be one of the best pickups that we've gotten offensively because he can play anywhere in the diamond and is hitting for average. And he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Anthony Rendon, not much to say about him besides good average. Got to get his home runs and RBIs up, but that will come for sure. Trevor Story. Incredible number seven home runs, 19 RBIs, 323 average, and the averages are high on the squad besides Domingo Santana. But you know, not everybody's gonna hit like crazy. And Miggy's replacement is starting to play like Miggy right now, he's hitting 325. We're gonna do this move right here to put everybody up, and everyone is on fire, everyone seems to be on fire. And let's take a look at the pitching staff Clayton Kershaw, one and two with the 303. Not the best record, but hey, he is a 99 overall. He has reached the max. 99 overall. Uh, I, I I do think he's going to start regressing a little bit, so we're going to have to brace for impact. But wow. Garrett Cole 4-0 with the 193. Pitching out of his mind. Rodon right behind him with that. Matt's is doing his thing out there. And then Casey Mize, not off to the best starts, man. Not off to the best starts. 1-1 one one with a 6 8 6 Yikes, that hurts. Da Daniel Norris doing pretty good. We're going to skim by the relief pitching. Uh, wow, Jose Alvarez doing his thing out there. Chris Davinsky, not the best. Colome got, got to get a little bit better. And then Roberto Ozuna is out there destroying the league. I also want to do something on the series where we actually check up on the minor league system and try to see how some of the top prospects are doing. I know that some... Did we just lose 21-11 to 11 that game? We lost to Boston 21 to 11. <laughs> JD Martinez went six for six with seven RBIs. What the fuck? Wait, what the hell happened there? Five for seven for Bogarts. I mean, can I? Martinez hit two home runs. Like, what is that score line? Meanwhile, us, we scored some runs as well. Uh, we we yeah we scored some runs as well. Trevor Story three for four with three RBIs. What is that pitching? Story hit two home runs and Rogers hit one as well. And Price got lit up as well. But as well as Casey Myers got lit up. So both of our starting pitchers got lit up. But then it was just I I I don't even know if you call this a pitching game, but we we got destroyed. I want to take a look at Jake Rogers. He is low-key progressing. He's actually getting better um, off to his uh, pretty good start. He's already matched his best from last season, about to match his best career-wise, uh, off to a really good start. I want to give him a good training uh, just so he can focus on, um, he could focus on, let's see, he's on batting cage, contact, and uh, let's see, maybe we can focus more on... He has good fielding, to be honest, so we don't really need anything like that. We're going to put on batting cage. Yeah, we'll put on batting cage, get his contact up. And all right, before we end this episode, I want to check up on a couple players. I want to check up on, okay, what the, okay, Mike, wait, hold, hold on. Michael Fulmer is a 90 overall, and what is he doing in double, wait, hold on, wait, someone, somebody stop me right now before I flip the fuck out. Okay, we're going to have to. <laughs> We're going to have to do something here, okay? Something that I, I I don't know if is morally correct. But we're going to call down Steven Matz. And we're going to call up Michael Fulmer. What in the... F He's not even on the 40, man. What am I doing? He is literally lighting up the league. So now this is our starting rotation. I could have sworn we called up Michael Fulmer. I don't know why I did not call him up. He he was he he he's definitely tear he's definitely tearing it up, and he was in double A. What the hell was I thinking? That's some that's my bad, folks. But we got Michael Fulmer now with the big league squad, 90 overall. I mean, this guy's been in the minor league for this long. What the hell have I done?
but yeah, but now with the addition of Michael Fulmer, this squad should be disgust, and I mean disgusting. We should be literally disgusting. I'm talking really disgust. I'm talking about chi I'm talking about horrible chili cheese dog disgusting, like really disgusting. But yeah, you guys saw the stats there. I'm gonna go ahead and pass by the man. Just looking pretty good. This season is looking pretty good so far. We are in first place. We're in first place by two and a half games to the Indians. Hopefully, we can maintain that lead and hopefully, we can make that lead a little bit larger. The All Star voting looks like we got Yelich out there for the outfield with the most votes in the outfield, but uh, nobody in the infield. Uh, quite interesting. Do we have anybody in the starting? I mean, of course, we do. We got Clayton Kershaw and Gary Cole, both of them that are going to be all stars. Anybody else? Rodon might make. Might make it as an all-star. He's 10 and 1 with the 315. Definitely should be. So yeah, we're gonna have to call it right there, folks. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this episode. If you guys want to see some more of the Detroit Tigers franchise, make sure to leave a like down below and also drop a sub. We are really, really close. Really close to 2,000 subscribers. And who would have known in a summer, and I mean in a year, we would hit 2,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can grow more we can become more of a family and hopefully things will get better folks because i have so much motivation to get videos out now and i'm gonna have a lot of time to do that now so hopefully you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of uploads and streams from me because it's it's go time after 2k thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace